And finally, London Tonight's search for a viewer's song for the World Cup. There's a gap in the market this time because there's no official England song, breaking a tradition going back to 1966. And who could forget World Cup Willie Katie? <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't, couldn't sing it to you right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, we want your contenders. No prizes, I'm afraid, apart from the glory, of course. But um, between now and the start of the World Cup in South Africa, just over a fortnight from now, we're going to feature some of your songs, ending with the one that we judge to be the best. In a moment, we'll be giving details about how you can send us your songs. But first, Glenn Goodman kicks off our search with some early offerings. This year, there are so many people making World Cup songs, you could start a football team with them. So we did. The star striker is this bloke. Remember him? He was big in the 80s. Clap them, come on, come on, England, bring it home. But that was 1988. In 2010, he's back as the lead singer of Goals Allowed. I don't suppose there's been any legal challenge from Girls Aloud's lawyers, has there, by any chance? No, come on. They'd be taking on a bit too much here. Come on, you know. Yeah, they, they can't afford to take you on. I think they've got to have a, a, a smile with it. Get behind the England team. Now, this is a little bit awkward, but here's another band, Mac and Friends, who also have a World Cup single. And would you believe it? It's also called Bring It Home. Are you aware that Nathan out of Brother Beyond has also got a song called Bring It? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people have also produced the same song. Uh, it's quite a generic name. Nevertheless, not a generic song whatsoever. Now this lot, Young Stanley, are a bunch of brickies, roofers and carpenters who dreamt up their chart bid on the building site. Will it be a four for two? Bring the trophy home to you. If you had the choice between England winning the World Cup or you getting to number one with this song, which would it be? England winning the World Cup. And us getting to number two. Yeah, but what if you were to disappear without trace? What if that was the alternative? England winning the World Cup. You, uh, you all agree with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. absolutely. With World Cup fever taking over London this summer, it's more than just their musical abilities that people are going to be showing off. Here, check this out. Now, like me, Thomas Spencer Wortley takes his football as seriously as his music. He's the official singer for Derby County, and he managed to rope in legendary England goalie Peter Shilton for his video. Kid British are also serious contenders. Their song, Winner, has been chosen for the soundtrack of the blockbuster video game FIFA World Cup. And finally, the lion sleeps on London tonight. Oh, Rooney. Rooney, where are you? Tell us, this isn't your first uh, single, is it? No, sir. No, it certainly isn't. I, uh, I did uh, well, Schwen, Schwen, Schwen back in 2001, when we beat the Germans 5-1. Remember that? Oh, those were the days. Oh, Glenn. Oh. Well, there you go, a clear winner. Glenn Goodman, London tonight, Clapham Common. Genius. Some of them are really yeah. good. Yeah, I know. They've set the standard. So uh, now...